running. I don't want to get up. Not at all. I definitely look like I live in the bush. I guess it's not a hard look to accomplish. The plan for today is we're going to head over to the building site where we're putting up the log house uh, and then we're going to pump water from the lake into the little water tower that's there because we're going to pressure wash the footings but before we do that we have to continue to dig out around the footings and clean them up. So I'll be on the skid steer and Jim will be on the mini excavator. And uh, I think I just heard Jim drive up. Jim and Bianca are a husband and wife who live deep in the bush and own a trucking company. I recently came up here to help them with their latest off-grid cabin build. Okay, so the job right now is to get all this straw and tarps and gross stuff into there and moved over here. Right now I'm just cleaning off the concrete footing. The next step will be to build a wood foundation and then the step after that is to build the log house on top of the foundation. That's all going to take some time though, especially in the bush, even simple things can be complicated. We're getting there, got this part, the straw cleaned off. Okay. Am I taking the mud out too? Like, do you want me to get the stone now or do you want to fill up yeah, my bucket? Actually, I will put the mud in your bucket okay. you can dump it around the corner again. Jim's just pulling the dirt out from around the footings and I'm using it to make a boat ramp down to the lake. Okay, let's get this water pump sorted out. The plan is to pump the water from the lake to the water tower, which is just a container on a frame. And then we should be able to use a gravity fed hose, not this one, this is to pump the water from the lake. But we can run a hose from the water tower to the pressure washer, which I need to use to clean off the footing for the house. This is the water tower, and this is the hose that comes from the lake and pumps the water in. Ooh, okay. This hose is gravity fed from the water tower to the pressure washer. Got the footing all pressure washed off. This weeping tile, which is all this pipe around the foundation, isn't working too good. It's meant to keep the water draining around the foundation, but it's not working too good. So I'm going to dig it up and we're going to try to set it in a bit deeper. Jim and I got the weeping tile all dug up. We got the weeping tile back in the new trench and now Jim is just covering it up with stone. There were a whole bunch of frogs in the puddles around the footing, so I'm bringing them to safety. Here's Jim just casually destroying the frog's homes to make room for his own house. Oh my god, there's more. Yoink! Hey! Got him! Ah! Hey! I don't know, I lost them both. <laughs> Yoink! I got two. These are 
all the clothes that I started off the day with. I have three sweaters and one long sleeve shirt and by the end of the day it's so warm you're sweltering in just a t-shirt. I can't wait till it's warm enough that I can go swimming in the lake. Look, look, look at the sunset. That means it's the end of another day but I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning. That's my camp up there. This is the lake. Jim and Bianca's camp is just right around this corner. And then Jim and Bianca's big house that they're building to move into is all the way over there. I actually built this walkway and that dock last time I was here, which was about two years ago. They're made out of cedar and because we're up here in the middle of nowhere, it makes it much more difficult to buy lumber. So Jim and Bianca have a sawmill and these are just cedars that they cut on the property, then processed in, or I processed in the sawmill, uh, and then sanded all the boards and made them into a dock. So there's a few more steps in the process. Jim should be over there now just picking up material and then he's going to meet me here and we're going to go to the building site. And actually the building that we're working on is on this lake too. I'm not exactly sure where, but it's somewhere on this side. I think around the much bigger part of the lake around this point over here. So I think the, the camp that we're working on is like over here somewhere. I'm just getting back to the camp for lunch. I'm just gonna turn on the generator. This is what powers the lights um, and the fridge and has power in the camp when you don't wanna use the battery power. And I try to use this most of the time. <laughs> The most exciting thing that happened this morning was that I tipped the skid steer. Um, mostly we just brought up tools from the big house. Uh, we unloaded some wood, which is how I tipped the skid steer. Uh, and we did some digging around the footing. But I was unloading a stack of plywood off the top of the trailer with the skid steer and I got under it and I thought, and I was like, oh, this is pretty heavy. So I went over to Jim and was like, how sure are we that the skid steer can lift the plywood? And he's like, oh, 100% sure. And I'm like, well, it feels like it's going to tip. And he's like, I can do it if you want. And I said, I can do it. You just have to watch me. And he says, how is that going to help? Anyway, uh, I took the plywood off and backed up and tipped into the trailer. So the bucket or the forks caught on the rest of the wood out of the trailer. And Jim was able to guide me out of the predicament. So... Good thing he was watching. These are the batteries that are powered by solar. You can see they're full, but when you don't want to use the batteries, you just want to use the generator. You just unplug from the batteries and you plug in. And then you're supposed to have power, but I don't think we have power right now. No power. I'm gonna go make sure the generator is plugged in because that might be why it's not. The generator is not on. That might be the problem. It is plugged in, probably out of gas. Okay, let's try again. This camp burnt down uh, and Jim and Bianca bought the property. There's a boat there. Boat comes with a property. Oh, and a trailer even. I wonder if that works. And a sea do. Doesn't that look fun? 
One side has some heat damage, but they think it might be salvaged. I'm just waiting for Jim. He's bringing the boat trailer and we're gonna pick up the boat. We'll see what kind of condition it's in. There's Jim and the trailer. We got it on and the boat looks great. Yeah, it's such a nice boat. And big. And now we're gonna take this and put it on here. And then we're gonna take this and put it in here. And now I have a boat at my camp. Very exciting. I'm gonna go try to catch a pike off the dock and if he's big enough, I'm gonna eat him. But he's gotta be big because small pike are really bony and hard to deal with. First, we need the right bait though. We want a big fish, so, so let's get a big bait. I think this is the biggest swim jig I have. We're gonna try that. Perfect. Oh, look, a lake. How convenient. Okay, well, the pike aren't biting. I even switched lures again to a slightly smaller one. So we're going to try for walleye. This is my lighter rod. It's all fluorocarbon. I've got 10 pound fluorocarbon to a 25 pound liter. And we're going to find a walleye lure. Let's try this. Oh no, I have a f***ing giant pike on floor carbon. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. F***. Oh f***. Oh my God. Oh. I can't hand- I don't have the capacity to handle this. something up. I'm just going to have to put myself on mute for a minute here because I don't know what YouTube's rules are around swearing and I can't look them up because I don't have reception. Wow! Oh! Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Oh man. <sighs> We're going to Jim and Bianca's camp because I don't know what to do. Hi! 
I got a fish, and I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Look. Holy crap. <laughs> it's a monster. I know. <laughs> Where did you? Off the dock. Are you kidding? It... Do you want to take the safety off? Yeah. Well, it weighed in at around 18 pounds, and you can see is around 43 inches. This is by far the biggest pike I've ever caught. I gotta get this in the fridge somehow. I don't know if that's gonna work. Perfect. I didn't have a cutting board anywhere near big enough, so I had to do this on the floor. But look at, look at this. That fits a little better. Well, it's now 11.30 at night. So good night, and I'll see you on the next adventure.